Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I do videos on handbag reviews, unboxings, anything luxury related. So if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. So in today's video, I'll be doing a super highly requested video. A lot of you guys commented on a previous video of mine where I mentioned that there are some handbags or Louis Vuitton handbags that I think are no longer worth it. And a lot of you guys commented saying that you really wanted to see my thoughts and what I still think is worth it and not worth it anymore. So I thought I'd start off with a few of the popular key pieces from Louis Vuitton or that I think are the really popular pieces and also go through some of the bags and smaller goods in my collection and let you know if I would still purchase it in 2022. So let's start off with small leather goods and then work our way up into the handbags. So the very first small leather good that I wanted to talk about is the infamous Louis Vuitton key pouch. This is in the monogram canvas and this little guy is still so hard to find. Like I think it's more readily available now, but it's still not available on the website. You might have to just ask your essay for it. But this a couple of years ago, like the past two years have just been so crazy. This has been so, so hard to get and it just keeps increasing in price. I remember when I purchased this like years and years ago, it was like around 250, 280 dollars. Like this was back like almost 10 years ago, but now it retails for 450 Australian dollars. 450 dollars for this little pouch this little zipper pouch with a little keychain. So it's supposed to house your keys, but a lot of us out there use it as like a little wallet. I use it as a little card holder and little wallet. You can fit cash, coins, cards in here. And it's just really practical because it's so, so slim. Recently, I posted on my Instagram a little hack or like I made this in a, into a cute little like handbag, which was a lot of you guys loved as well. So I got the little chain from Organize My Bag and it comes in this cute little, really soft microfiber dust bag. And inside is just the little chain. So this is the oval link chain, which I always rave about. I always rave about the actual shoulder strap version of this, but this is just like a little keychain version. So on either side, there's two little lobster clasps, which makes it really easy to just hook on. So all I did was just hook it on to the little zipper pull there. And then also inside, there's like a little D ring that holds this keychain. So all I did was just hook that onto that part there. So I've hooked that there. And the good thing about this chain is that it swivels. So it doesn't matter which way you clip it on, it'll still move the right way. So how cute is this little handbag? It obviously stays open, but I mean, if you just wanted to like carry it or like give it to your daughter or something, that's so, so cute. Like the little Louis Vuitton handbag. And I remember one of my friends on YouTube as well, her name's Catherine. I'll link her channel down below. She also does luxury content, so check her out. She commented on that photo saying, I bet Louis Vuitton will come out with something like this in a couple of years and charge like $1,000 for it, which is probably true. Like this whole micro trend, it's just, yeah, insane how much the big luxury houses charge for something so small, just like this. And yeah, I made this for like less than $500 because this would be $450. And this chain here from Organize My Bag is around, I think it's like 20 to $30, but I do have a 10% discount code, which I'll link in the description box below. But yeah, so how cute is this little baggie here? Sorry, going completely off track on this video, but I just wanted to share with you guys how I did that because a lot of you guys loved that idea and thought it was super cute. So you can do it yourself at home as well. So I've just removed the chain so we don't get distracted by the cuteness of it. So getting back on topic. So do I still think that this little key patch is worth 450 Australian dollars? And my opinion is that yes and no, like, in a sense that no, if you already have one of these in your collection and you are thinking about adding another one, I don't think it's worth paying $450 for another one. But on the other hand, if you don't own this and you've been eyeing it for a while and you have the opportunity to purchase it for $450, I think snatch it up. It's such a versatile, smaller the good, like it's such a versatile little piece that you can utilize. It's very practical. It's so cute. And as I said, I've had this in my collection for about 10 years now and I've just yeah loved it so so much it's just gotten so much use it just fits in all my handbags big small I can use it for catch-all I can use it for like a wallet I've done a whole video on this so I'll link that up there as well if you guys wanted to check out all the different ways you can use the key pouch I'm sure there's way more of a ways now especially if you can attach like the little chain to it so yeah, I think if you don't have it in your collection, I think it's still worth it for $450. I think even $500 when it gets to that point, which hoping not this year, they hold off for a few years, but if it ever reaches $500, I still think it'll be worth it if you don't own it in your collection and you really want to, to add it to your collection. Cause I think this, yeah, would just get so much use in your collection and it would just last a lifetime. So moving to the next smaller good, I've got the Louis Vuitton 
six ring key holder here and this is in the Damier bean print so it just looks like this you open it up it's like a trifold and got like rings here you put your keys your car key and it also fits cards at the back here as well so this little guy here retails also for 450 dollars i remember a couple of years ago this used to be cheaper than the louis vuitton key pouch this used to be more than this i think because the popularity of this but now louis vuitton have just made them the same price so this retails for 450 Australian dollars and that is quite steep like I don't really use or reach for this as much anymore I used to use it every single day obviously because I housed all my keys but now you guys know I use my Orbit key here so this is just like a really small thin leather key holder and it just houses all my keys in here and I've got like a little multi-tool here as well like a bottle opener a ruler little it's got like nine seven or nine different tools with this little thing so I like to keep that all in there and it does stick out a little bit but it's not like enough to scratch the insides of my bag or anything so I really like this because it's so compact and like slim compared to if I had all my keys in here this would be like super bulky so yeah that's why I haven't reached for this anymore and that's why I would honestly say this is probably not worth it if you don't have it in your collection I'll probably say skip on this I know a lot of you guys out there love it and I do love it but for $450 you could probably get more cheaper alternative versions out there you could opt for an orbit key which is like 50 Australian dollars and I think I have a 10% discount code I'll leave in the description box below if I do getting something like this it's super slim it fits in all your handbags all your mini handbags whereas this takes up a lot of real estate and it just yeah takes up a lot of space i mean it's really handy if you wanted to put cards so just take your keys and put your like your credit card driver's license in there and just take this and go with your phone like that's really handy so in that sense if you are intending to use it for like multi-purpose i think it will still be worth it for 450 dollars but for me now i don't think i'll pay 450 dollars for the key holder knowing that I always use and reach for my Orbit key now. So yeah, for $450, I'm going to say no to this. So next up on the chopping block is the infamous Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And this is in the monogram canvas. And this little guy, oh my goodness, this has seen so many price increases in the last two years. I purchased this in August 2020, and this was 485 Australian dollars, I think, back then. But now it retails for more than double, which is just, I still can't digest or believe that this retails for 1080 Australian dollars like over a thousand dollars for this tiny little canvas piece like this is just crazy to me how this small leather good the only leather part is just this little leather tab there that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France but everything else inside is like a fabric lining and then we've got the canvas outer layer and then we've got this little gold chain here so this is super super cute i love the versatility of this I've, again i've done like a whole different ways to style it different ways to wear it what fits inside like i've just raved on and on about this mini pochette on my channel but that was back when it was under 500 dollars. now it's over a thousand australian dollars and i honestly do not think that you should be paying a thousand dollars for this little pochette like look at the size comparison so this key patch here it fits inside like that so that's really cute and you can fit a few other things inside like a little catch-all but look at the size difference between the two like i honestly think louis vuitton have seen the popularity of this and are just taking advantage of us and just charging so so much for it because they know we'll pay for it and people are still going out and purchasing this and on the resale market they're like well over a thousand dollars and people are still buying them and i just think it's crazy like you could get so much more for a thousand dollars you could go to other brands like ysl or even coach do really good luxurious handbags or small leather goods like an actual wallet for example for a thousand dollars you could get so much with a thousand dollars they're pretty much pricing it as a handbag now because they know that we'll be attaching straps and wearing it as like a mini nano bag and i honestly don't think that's fair because they're not providing us with a strap or any additional features to the mini pochette but they're charging us more than double than what they were two years ago so if they gave us like a strap that we could use as a little crossbody bag i could kind of see the justification behind that but they're not so it's just yeah totally unfair and yeah i just can't believe that this is over a thousand dollars so do not waste your money do not spend your hard-earned money over a thousand dollars for this little thing it's honestly not worth it and if i didn't have this in my collection I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars like I just 
would not recommend it at all. So following on from the same train as the mini pochette, I also have my pochette accessoire, which is also super, super popular and everyone has been trying to get their hands on it, especially in the monogram canvas. I purchased this last year, maybe the end of 2020, I think it was 2021. I can't remember now, it's all a blur, but I'm pretty sure I purchased this for $1,190, which was which really hurt because it was just after a price increase and I think it retailed for like 990 just before that and yeah I got this like a couple weeks later and paying 1190 for this was a bit painful because it was over the thousand dollar mark but now saying that this and this like this retails for over a thousand like this fits way more and it comes with like a little leather strap too so yeah that wasn't too bad but now wait for it, it retails for 1890 Australian dollars, like almost $2,000 for this tiny little handbag that doesn't have much to it at all. All it has is a zipper pull and it's got a little pocket, like a side pocket there, but nothing else, no zippers, no other compartments at all. It's just one little pouch. And for almost 2000 Australian dollars, like I honestly don't think that this is worth it. Do not spend $2,000 almost two thousand dollars on this tiny pochette here just don't think it's worth it for eighteen hundred dollars so it's a no from me the next small little good that i have in my collection is the medium agenda and this is also in the monogram canvas and i just love this thing so so much i purchased this i think in 2020 as well and it was 895 australian dollars i don't think it's gone up too much i think it's only 940 australian dollars now so yeah it's not a huge price increase and that's what you kind of see with small leather goods what you're supposed to see with small leather goods like their prices don't jump too much like for example the compact wallets and like the agendas when they do a price increase it's only by like forty dollars maybe fifty dollars at most but yeah this with that mini pochette it's just crazy it's gone up over double the price in two years whereas this has only gone up maybe a hundred dollars in two years so for 940 dollars i think that is a little bit steep like even for 895 dollars i still think to this day it was a bit pricey just for like a little agenda cover it doesn't come with like anything inside like all these like inserts and tabs i've had to purchase myself separately so this cost me well over a thousand dollars because all these accessories that i've put into it and i've got my little ellie here my little jack russell a little polaroid and i've done a flip through or like what i've put inside the agenda when i purchased it i showed you all the inserts and nothing has really changed a few guys asked to see like an update but i still have like the same tabs and the same like dashboard and i've just purchased new inserts for the new year obviously and i'm pretty sure i just purchased them from amazon i'll link it down below if i can find the same insert like the date periods that i used Whereas with the little tabs and everything, I've got it all linked in that video. So I'll also link that in the description box. I'm pretty sure a lot of it came from cloth and paper, which is from the US. And I didn't want to purchase from them again because the shipping just was like way too long. It was like a month to get to me just because I'm in Australia. But if you guys are in the US, I would highly recommend cloth and paper. They do the most gorgeous, like minimalistic dashboards and inserts. So I highly recommend them. If I was to go back in time and never had this in my collection, would I still pay $940 for it now? I'd probably say no. Like honestly, I do use this daily and it is nice to look at, but for yeah again almost a thousand dollars i could get a lot of other things for that and i just wanted to mention organize my bag sent me this really gorgeous piece here so this is a good alternative if you don't want to fork out like 940 dollars or a thousand dollars i think the large size retails for 1200 dollars so over well over a thousand dollars for just an agenda cover i would highly recommend looking into organize my bag so the same company that did the chain for the key pouch they also do agenda covers now and they sent me this gorgeous agenda cover so this is actually leather like you can see the pebbled leather and it you just need to feel this like and smell it like you can actually feel the leather it's so plush and soft this is the large size which is equivalent to the louis vuitton large agenda size so this is the medium and this is the large that's just the size comparison so they also do like the medium size too if you wanted a more compact one so i think the medium size retails for 59 dollars, and then the large size which is the one i have here retails for 69 dollars. so yeah i think i would rather if i was to go back in time and never purchased the louis vuitton one for 895 dollars. i think i'll just go down the organize my bag route just because this is yeah actual leather they even hot stamped it for me which is so so sweet it has 
an N in gold foil and a little heart next to it. And this one has like a little card slot here. You can put like your business cards. It's got like two little slots here to put paperwork and receipts. And here I've just put like lined paper that I also purchased from Amazon. Just because I already use this as like my agenda, my calendar and everything like that, all my appointments I put in here. Whereas this, I like to just jot down like ideas for YouTube, for example, if I have anything about the wedding I have coming up, I like to just jot, jot it down in here and just use it as a notebook. And the rings are very similar to the Louis Vuitton one. So if I just hold them up like that, they both have like the six ring binders there and you could just push it down and they're actually really sturdy. So if you push that down, it's really like tough. And then you pop your paper in, close it off. It's got a nice click to it. At the back here, we've also got another little card slot and also a little pocket. So you can put like bits of paper or anything that you want a bit more secure, you can pop it in there. And they also sent me this really cute little rose gold pen, like diamond pen. Obviously it's not a real diamond, but like a diamond-esque pen. How beautiful is that? And then on the side there, it just says organize my bag. So I think organize bag also sell this on the website, but the last time I checked, they were sold out. So I'm not sure if they're coming out with more of these, but it's so pretty. Like, look at that rose gold. They also do like gold and silver colors too. Just think that is so cute just having it there and it fits perfectly in the little pen holder. So everything about this is very similar to the Louis Vuitton agendas. So yeah, I think for $940, I say skip out on the Louis Vuitton one and just get yourself a really nice like leather luxurious one for under $100. So yeah, this is from Organize My Bag. And again, I do have a 10% discount code with them. So I'll leave that in the description box below. This is not sponsored or anything, but thank you to Organize My Bag for sending me this. So now moving on to the handbags, I have a few to show you guys because I have pretty much all the popular Louis Vuitton handbags because obviously they're popular for a reason. So the very first handbag we'll talk about is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the MM size and I love this bag so, so much. I again got this like almost 10 years ago. This was one of my very first Louis Vuitton handbags ever and I used it all the time. It's such a workhorse bag. So I purchased this for I think $1,490 back then and now this retails for, wait for it, 2,940 Australian dollars, like almost $3,000 for this tote bag. Like, oh, I think that just kills me because I paid like half the price for it. So for $2,940, is it still worth it? I would say yes, just because this is such a practical bag, like anyone of any age can use it. Like uni students can use it for uni or school. You can use it as a mum. you can use it to work. You can use it just as like a travel bag, as a catch-all bag, just shove everything inside because it's never full. That's where it gets its name from. It's just, you can shove anything inside and it just fits. So for under $3,000, I think with the way things are going now with all luxury handbags, they're all above $3,000, like well over $4,000, especially like the on the go tote, which I often compare to this. I think that is like over $4,000. So I think for a canvas bag for $3,000, under $3,000, I still think that you could get away with purchasing the Neverfull and it'd still be worth it. You'll get your money's worth from it and you're saving a lot compared to like the on the go, for example. Yeah, I really, really love the Neverfull and I'd still highly recommend it at $2,940. So the next bag we'll talk about is the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the 30 size. So I purchased this not long after the Neverfull and around like 10 years ago, and this was $1,190 back then. And now this retails for $2,260. So it's pretty much doubled in price in the last 10 years. And this is just a classic version. It's not the bandolier one with the straps. This is just the classic top handle Speedy 30. And for $2,260 now, do I still think that this is worth it? I probably would say no. Like I, I don't know. I think with the bandolier version, I know that's like $500 more. I think that retails for $2,000 and $750, around about that. And I think it's more worthwhile to spend the extra $500 to get the bandolier version. So for $2,750, I think that the speedy bandolier is worth it because you do get that strap. You do get the option of wearing it on the shoulder, across body or top handle, whereas this is top handle only. And it's just very, it gets very heavy, especially with the 30 size, you can fit so, so much inside and just gets so heavy, especially putting it in the crook of your arm like that. It just gets, way too heavy. That's why I don't really reach for it that much anymore. It's still in my collection because it's such a classic bag and 
it was one of my very first bags and I purchased this when I went to Sydney with Anthony for the very first time so it has a bit of a sentimental factor to it but I just honestly don't reach for it and yeah for over two thousand dollars for a bag that I don't really reach for I don't think I would ever purchase it for over two thousand dollars and I don't think it really holds its resale value that much because just because it's so readily available so that's why I haven't sold it yet and again with the whole sentimental factor I just don't think I would ever sell it for the speedy 30 either opt for the bandolier version or don't get it at all I just don't think it's worth it over two thousand dollars now so since we're on the topic of speedies I thought I'll talk about my nano speedy here and I had a look online for this Nano Speedy and I think I've discontinued this version. So this is the original one without the detachable or adjustable strap. So this is actually fixed onto the bag. And yeah, I looked online and I couldn't see the price or anything about this Speedy. They only have the new version which has the detachable and adjustable strap. And you guys know how I feel about the newer version of it. I'll link that video up here if you guys haven't seen my comparison between this and the new version. But if you were looking for a Nano Speedy bag, that's the only option, the new version, which is 2550 And I honestly say do not spend or waste your money on the new Nano Speedy. I just don't think it's worth it. It's a lot smaller than this and it just doesn't look good to me. Like. The proportions of everything if you watch my video on the comparison between the two you'll know what i mean but yeah for 2550 dollars i just don't think that the nano speedy is worth it anymore especially in that new version so yeah i'd say a hard pass on that so the next bag in question is the louis vuitton palm springs mini backpack and this is so adorable i love this little bag so so much it's so so cute so i purchased this back in 2020 and i think it was 3150 australian dollars but now it retails for $3,550 Australian dollars, which is a lot of money. Like even for back then, like $3,150, that was a lot of money to spend on a really tiny little backpack like this, like over $3,000. And that's what I was saying earlier with the Neverfull. This is still under $3,000 and you're getting so much more bag and so much more material with your money if you get a Neverfull. Whereas this one here, because it's so tiny, I think there's a lot more detail to this. Like it's got the little little parts there. It's got like all these zipper pulls. It's got like the little attachments and the straps and all the gold detailing. I think that's why it costs a little bit more. And also with the smaller size, it's a lot harder to get like the smaller stitches in place. And also the popularity of this used to be like out of this world. Like this was so hard to find back in 2020. This was just like on everyone's radar and it was so hard for me to find as well. As much as I love this and use it and think it's so adorable i honestly don't think it's worth three thousand over three thousand five hundred dollars now like i know it's not that far between how much i paid for it compared to what it is now like it's only like four like under five hundred dollar difference but i just honestly even if i was to go back in time now i knowing how much everything is like costing now i'd rather i would have preferred to have saved that three thousand dollars like I really really love this bag and I'm really glad it's in my collection and I use it all the time and it fits so so much inside but for over three thousand dollars like I'm just thinking now I think I'm in a different stage in my life especially because I have a wedding to pay for I'm just thinking three thousand dollars is a lot of money I could spend it on a lot of other things or get a couple of other handbags and some wallets for three thousand dollars I just think yeah for a small bag like this that's just too much and for three thousand five hundred and fifty I would say skip it, save that $3,000, use it towards another handbag because for this it's a very casual bag. I can't take it obviously to like night out or to weddings for example, like special occasion. It's not something I reach for. I think I would recommend the next bag that I'm about to mention that is a much better value for money in my opinion. Unless you always wear like very casual, it's just very your style then I would say maybe look into it but again for $3,500 you could definitely get a lot more worth it bags out there so yeah unfortunately i'd have to say no the palm strings mini backpack is not worth it anymore so the very last bag i want to talk about and that i still think is worth it to this day is the louis vuitton alma bb and this is in the damia bean print and i only purchased this a few months ago right before the price increase so i purchased it for two thousand three hundred and sixty dollars and now this retails for two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars which is not too bad like honestly for under three thousand dollars you get this really gorgeous handbag, a top handle bag. It's got all these beautiful features. It's got the shiny gold hardware with the lock. You've got this really gorgeous zipper pull here. And it's got a really nice structured base. And it also comes with a shoulder strap. 
so this is not adjustable but it is detachable so you can attach it to wear it on your shoulder or crossbody and yeah i just think that this bag is so beautiful and for two thousand five hundred dollars now i still think that it's worth it i can honestly see this going for like over three thousand dollars i don't know why i just think like three thousand three hundred and fifty for some reason and i know that this will go over three thousand dollars in the next couple of years i think louis vuitton will catch on to its like pricing like why this costs a lot less than something like this which is very similar in size and i'm pretty sure this will probably fit more because you've got all this space inside here it's like an open compartment and you get yeah it's so beautiful like this is very elegant this is very casual and for three thousand five hundred like a thousand dollars less you're getting this really gorgeous beautiful bag and just wait for it for a bag like this like one thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars to spend another like six hundred dollars and get a beautiful handbag rather than this tiny little pouch so yeah i honestly think that the alma baby and it even comes with feet like oh my god i've done a whole video and like review of this bag so if you want to see that video i'll link that up there and also in the description box below but i just think that you really cannot go wrong with this if i also recommend any handbag in this video today it would definitely be the alma bb and this is such a beautiful bag and i'm so glad i finally have it in my collection the alma bb definitely gets my vote and a big yes from me so yeah that was a very long video but i really hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts and my whole thought process behind what I still think is worth it and not worth it. Please don't take offense to any of this if you guys are eyeing any of these pieces and are still really wanting to add it to your collection. If you still think it's worth it, definitely purchase it and enjoy it. This is just my opinion and solely my opinion and what I think is worth it and not worth it for me and my lifestyle. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps support my channel and help my channel grow. But until next time, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.